Welcome everyone, this is Christopher with InMotion Hosting. In this video I'm going to be talking to you about getting to know the Jekyll Static Site Generator. This is basically an introduction into how it works and to help you decide if you'd want to consider using it or what benefits you could get from using it. So what is Jekyll? Jekyll is basically a static site generator. It generates a complete site from files on your computer which can then be transferred to the web. And once the website is live, it basically functions uh, like a site that was built with a content management system like WordPress or Joomla or Drupal. But as far as how the website is created, uh, it functions very differently. Anyone can use Jekyll. It's free, open source. Uh, it is at an, what I would probably say is an intermediate level of programming. Uh, and we'll go into some of the things that you might want to know, but if you've been comfortable using WordPress or Joomla or uh, one of the popular content management systems, or even if you're just familiar with how to open new documents on your computer, save basic text files, or even better, if you know how to use a text editor if you're comfortable using one, then uh, then Jekyll can, can easily come into your workflow quite seamlessly. It is perfect for simple projects, a uh, website that you're going to design for someone uh, that you need to put up and basically just leave it there for a, for a long time. There's virtually no serious upgrade cycles uh, for the program that happen frequently because it generates basically a static HTML site. Once your website is on the web, uh, the Jekyll program uh, is basically not being used. It's just a basic HTML site. You just use Jekyll to generate those pages. Some of the pros of using it, uh, some of the benefits, uh, it's simple, uh, it has a very simple design, it's a very simple process. Uh, the website that it generates is of course very secure, it's just basic HTML files, very difficult to hack, it does not require a lot of maintenance, incredibly low maintenance if any at all. Uh, and there are no databases, so it doesn't reach out to a database to pull information from all information for the site is contained within those files. Uh, for this reason, it is lightning fast. There is virtually no latency. Uh, the pages download pretty much instantly, at all, uh, depending entirely on your connection or your user's connection to the server. This means that it works perfectly with any hosting plan. Uh, even the most basic stripped down uh, shared hosting platform will run Jekyll beautifully because, um, as I've said, it's just a, a basically static HTML files. Some of the cons that you should be aware of there is some command line involved in this. There are a few basic commands you need to run from your terminal, uh, your shell client, just to do some of the basic functions to uh, set up the Jekyll program, to build the site, and these are all very simple commands, uh, basically consisting of uh, two, three words at the most that you just need to type in the prompt. Uh, and also there's no onboard comment moderation uh, this could be uh, a big deal for bloggers who like to have a lot of uh, interactive interactivity with their readers to have um, a very busy comment form on the bottom of a post. Uh, but uh, there is some custom coding you can do to Jekyll to bring in your comments, or you can do what a lot of Jekyll users do and um, a lot of bloggers do is bring in like a discuss forum or bring in Facebook uh, comments, uh, which could be a plus because then you do not have to manage the, uh, the comments in your own server. They're done elsewhere. And also Jekyll, you'll be doing most of the site designing. Uh, in your local computer. You'll be using a text editor or something to set up your posts and pages and then you will transfer the site once you build it in your local computer. Uh, you'll be transferring it to the web with FTP or SCP or you can even use Git if you're familiar with that to automate the the process of publishing it to the web but this is a um, this is a fairly small roadblock if you're comfortable with transferring files to your server um, should pose no um, immediate problem for you. But as a, a plus side, though, to doing your work locally, you'll always have a backup of your site. If anything happened on your server or you accidentally deleted the website, you will have a fresh copy in your local computer that you can instantly uh, upload back up to your server and be up and running again. So putting everything together, uh, where I think Jekyll excels is for blogs, simple information sites, a uh, portfolio for an artist or a filmmaker or a photographer. If it's a project on a, on a small budget specifically, you can throw up a site uh, fairly quickly that uh, doesn't require a lot of maintenance and will not uh, cause you a lot of headaches later on down the road. So uh, stay tuned. In the, the next series of videos, I'm going to be telling you basically how you can install Jekyll, 
how to configure your site, and uh, how to get things going with it. Did you know the InMotion Hosting Support Center has thousands of articles, pictures, and video tutorials to help you out with your web hosting questions? It's something for everyone, from beginners to experts. Join our community and sign up with your Facebook or Google Plus for free swag, prizes, and discounts. Visit our support center at InMotionHosting.com support.